In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to change the battery in the Celestron Red Dot Finoscope. So first and foremost, make sure you take your Finoscope off of your telescope, and then all you need to do, it's very, very simple, is this little area at the front, you just need to prise that off. Uh, so the first time you do it, it may require a little bit of force, and you may also need to use perhaps a mini screwdriver or something, just prise it in those little uh, areas there each side. But we just need to remove this, and I find that sometimes removing this component makes life easier. I'm actually just going to put that back on the telescope. So you saw that it unclicked. I just had applied a little bit of force, got my nail underneath. And at this stage, all we need to do is remove this bar here, which is keeping the battery in place. And you'll notice exactly what the battery is. So it's actually a, a 3 volt CR2032 lithium wafer battery. And thankfully, these are very accessible, so you can get those at most... Uh, hardware stores, auto supply stores. You can also get them online. I like to get mine from Amazon. I'll drop a link in the description below uh, for the ones I get and to take you right there. But you essentially just take this clip off and then remove that battery by applying a little bit of force with your finger underneath and then replacing the battery in the same um, in the same way around. So you want the text where it says lithium battery to be facing you. So you put that back on, make sure that's keeping the battery firmly in place. And then it's a matter of putting the cap back on You'll see you just need to align it and then push it down. Now I do just want to quickly mention that some Celestron uh, red dot finoscopes work slightly differently and in that case you will need a mini screwdriver. I would make sure you have something that's really really small and all you need to do at that point is unscrew these screws here and this this entire piece comes off and that enables you to to access um, the battery area. So I thought I'd just mention that because it depends on the telescope that you bought uh, and what, what you may need to do. And also be very, very careful with the screwdriver. Uh, you don't want to chew up these screws because um, it will make it an issue every time uh, your battery runs out. But yeah, we've changed the battery now and when we turn it on... Oh, I left it on, how shocking. But when we turn it on, hopefully, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, but yeah, I can see the red dot and we're all good to go. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. Over to you and all the best with your red dot finoscope.